After 10 years of international touring, visiting more than 30 countries, and traveling from Siberia to San Diego, Svalbard to Zagreb, and meeting the most amazing people and experiencing incredible places we never expected to see, it's really hard to pick just one memory to talk about. But for the sake of this video, I'll tell you about one particularly exotic memory that I hold very dear. And this is when we played at the Polar Jazz Festival in Svalbard in 2015. Svalbard is a group of islands in the Arctic Ocean, north of the Polar Circle. And the main town, Longibien, is pretty much the northernmost point of human civilization. The Polar Jazz Festival takes place each year in the beginning of February when the polar night is ending and the 24-hour darkness is starting to give way to a bluish twilight around noon. It's beautiful, but cold, with temperatures dropping down to minus 30 degrees centigrade, plus wind chill. On top of our planned festival appearance, the organizers of Polar Jazz had also scheduled for us to perform a concert in the neighboring town of Barnsburg a Russian coal mining town with around 500 inhabitants. So, when we arrived at the airport in Longyearbyen, we headed straight for the helicopter hangar with our instruments, from where a huge helicopter flew us across Arctic mountains and glaciers over to our show in Barnsburg. We performed for the Russian coal miners in the city's culture house, and were then treated to a feast of a dinner by the city's mayor before flying back to Longyearbyen with the helicopter. The next day, we performed on the main stage of the Polar Jazz Festival in Longyearbyen to a crowd of 600 people, roughly one-third of the total population of Longyearbyen. In my memory, it was a near-perfect gig, with the band performing at its best, as if the exotic circumstances that we found ourselves in had somehow imbued us with an extra dimension of passion and emotion. For me, personally, Playing with Arstir in Longyearbyen also felt extra special for another reason. I had lived in Longyearbyen for a couple of years in my early 20s, and so I felt proud to return to my old stomping ground together with a great band. Today, in the age of Covid, looking back on the band's touring history feels somehow more precious than ever, and I realize now more than ever that the memories we make on tour will stay with us forever. And with this in mind, I simply cannot wait to hit the road again. And we have a couple of shows coming up. The Gabaya Festival next month, Castle Fest in August, and then our first bonafide tour since before Covid. Our holiday tour, Vietrar Sol, this coming December. I sincerely hope to see you on the road this year and to create some new memories with you. I wonder too.